We're live on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. Okay, welcome everybody to Wednesday, What's in the Warehouse with Gwen. Unfortunately, my name is not like Wendy or something that would really go with the W's, but Gwen is close enough and it is actually my name. So for those of you that don't know who I am, I am Dr. Judy's daughter. I'm also the COO of Naturally Healthy Pets. So one of my main tasks is to help onboard new products to the warehouse. We have over 400, I think close to 500 now in the warehouse. And they're all approved by Dr. Judy, but they come in from all over the world and they have to pass her standards. So everything you find at naturallyhealthypets.com, which is also drjudymorgan.com, is going to be vetted by Dr. Judy. So it's not going to have any harmful ingredients in it. It's going to serve a purpose. It's going to help pets. So you can feel safe shopping at anything that we have in our warehouse. But today I am specifically going to go over some exciting new products that we haven't even talked about before. Um, the first group of products, actually, we've talked about a little bit because we've had Dr. Steve Marston on. If you've seen any of his interviews or he did a podcast as well, he talks a lot about TCVM, which is traditional Chinese veterinary medicine. And that is something that Dr. Judy is trained in as well. So he developed um, this line with gold standard herbs, and it's a line of herbal products that he basically was using in practice quite frequently with clients. And he said, you know, I'm using these formulations so, or this combination of formulations so frequently, it definitely could be helpful for other people to use and be exposed to. So he put them into a whole product line. So they're all going to be, like I said, blends of herbs. They actually use the whole herb extract. So it's going to be a little bit more potent and powerful than just those uh, isolates. Same thing, similar principle with CBD. We look for that full, full spectrum um, CBD oil. So that way we're getting the entourage effect from all the other things that are in there in the full spectrum products. So they do use the whole herb extract in all of the gold standard herb products. They are also pretty safe and effective. So you can use them with a lot of traditional medications and traditional drugs. So one of them that we're going to talk about today is for allergies. I know we have a lot of new folks that have joined us that are just learning more about alternatives to Apoquel and Cytopoint. So when we get to that, um, you can use it in conjunction with traditional medications or treatments that you're using and you don't have to worry about interactions with drugs. The main thing you want to keep an eye out for when adding these herbs is potentially some loose stools. So if you do see loose stools, stop administering them, um, contact us, we can, we can help you out. But other than that, um, all of the dosages and more information are on our website, naturallyhealthypets.com. I think Joey is going to help us out and put the links on Facebook and YouTube. Instagram, you'll have to just go to the link in bio to learn more. Um, but all of these are human grade. They have like 10 or 11 herbs in each formulation. So they are um, a little bit complicated, but we'll go over today the function mostly of the products. Um, and the dosage on our website is the starting amount and you're recommended to start there, but all of the herbs, the gold standard herbs, the doses can be doubled safely. So it gives you a little bit of wiggle room. If you're not seeing improvements within the first few weeks, you can actually double the amount that you're giving safely. Okay. Oh, Jan said I look pretty. Thank you. I was taking pictures earlier today, so I look nicer than I usually do on camera. Somebody saw me at the Illinois experience and was like, wow, you look way better in person than you do on camera. And I was like, well, thank you. <laughs> so just imagine I look even better in person. We'll go with that. All right. So the first gold standard herb that we're going to talk about is called Cesarex. And this one is actually, it's been, we haven't even talked about it, but it's um, sold out a few times already because this is such a common problem. So it really helps address allergy symptoms. So you'll see that come out in a few different ways. So it could be your typical allergy symptoms, like they're itching and scratching a lot, could get um, ear issues, ear infections. You could have hot spots. Um, different skin issues, some, maybe some eye discharge, it could be seasonal allergies, it could also be um, environmental allergies, things like that. So the difference between something like Cesarex and an Apoquel, a Cytopoint, a traditionally used 
um, allergy medication is that those, those things are actually suppressing the immune system. So they are essentially turning off the symptoms. So turning off the scratching and you see vis visually that your, your pet seems happier and maybe they are more comfortable temporarily, but you're not really addressing the root cause of the problem. So something like Cesarex is actually an herbal blend that's trying to address the root cause of the problem, the root inflammation. So boosting the immune system and modulating the immune system because we don't want it to be overactive either because that can cause its own set of issues. So we're modulating the immune system we want to keep it functional, but not, not in overdrive. Um, and we want to reduce inflammation in the body. So again, this can be used in conjunction with other either natural or traditional things that you use for allergies. Um, and it is a powder. It, it, you just use based on um, body weight, a certain amount of powder. It's in teaspoons, really simple to administer. You can mix it in food. And we've heard some really wonderful things about um, helping with allergy symptoms. Again, you do want to let it build up in the system. Um, so a few weeks is good to start to see some changes. If you don't, then you can, again, double the dose of administration. Um, unless you see loose stools, then we would recommend stopping. Somebody asked if this could be used for cats as well. So um, it's only labeled for dogs. So we'll talk about dogs today. I did want to follow up with Dr. Steve because a lot of these herbs are also used in cats, people, um, a lot of other formulations. So I imagine that the same would be true for cats, but I'm going to double check with him just to be safe because it is labeled just for dogs. Okay, so Cesarex, again, for allergies, skin, ear, itch, hot spots, things like that. And this is helping to balance and support our immune system instead of completely just shut it down and actually damage it further like some other traditional ways of handling allergies. So this one has been very, very popular. That's Cesarex by Gold Standard Herbs. Okay, the next one is going to be called Adoptrex. Same thing, it's a, a herbal blend using the whole herb extracts. It's 11, I believe, different herbs in this one. And this specifically is for inflammation in the GI or pancreas. So our, our pets that suffer from some acute gastroenteritis, pancreatitis, any type of uh, even IBD, IBS, anytime we have inflammation specifically in the digestive tract. So um, they recommend this a lot for people that are switching diets. I would also say like pets, even breeds that are um, predisposed to get pancreatitis. Like we've seen a lot of um, mini schnauzers lately with pancreatitis. So any type of inflammatory gut or pancreas condition, Adoptrex would be helpful. And again, we're trying to get to the root cause of the, inf of the um, inflammation and actually help to soothe that instead of just masking the symptoms. So this is great if, you're, um, if your pet is experiencing some GI stress or you're changing diets, doing something like that, that is going to cause um, potentially some issues. But especially for our dogs that have had some issues with pancreatitis, Adoptrex, I think, is a really good addition. Okay, number three from Gold Standard Herbs is called Lumbrex. And so this is actually um, an herbal blend that's going to help with circulation and specifically our dogs with hind end weakness, the dogs that struggle more with their mobility, maybe in like the cold, wet conditions. Um, my boyfriend's dog actually really could have benefited from this. She was showing some symptoms of hind end weakness as she was getting older and we weren't exactly sure uh, what the issue was, but she got significantly worse whenever the weather would get very cold and wet. And so he was living in Chicago and over the winter time, she could barely walk. She was so stiff and sore and weak. Um, but every time he would bring her to, he brought her to North Carolina for Christmas and she was actually, her mobility dr dramatically improved just from the different weather and the different climate. So um, dogs like that, that are worse in cold, wet conditions, this would specifically be, be great for those dogs. Um, also those with disc disease, IBDD cases, um, that would be helpful to, to try Lumbrex as well. And a note about these is they can actually be used together. So if you had a dog, for example, that had some hind end weakness 
and some allergies, you can stack on um, the Cesarex and the Lumbrex together. That's totally fine. You don't have to worry about only using one product at a time. Um, they do actually, there are some cases of hind end weakness and disc disease that they recommend stacking or using one at a time with the next one, which is called Voltrex. So if you do have a pet a dog with either IBDD or um, some hind end issues, you might want to read the listing on both the Voltrex and the Lumbrex because they're similar. They sometimes are recommended to be used together or in a certain order. So again, if you go to the website, um, I think Joey posted it already on Facebook and YouTube, but for Instagram, if you go to the link in bio, we have a lot more information under the individual products. So you can read it and see which one or both might might work best for your pet. Okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit um, about the Voltrex. So it also similarly targets inflammation in joints, so hips, knees, spine. Uh, I read a case that this was very helpful for a dog that had Lyme disease, because Lyme disease, again, they can have a lot of inflammation in their joints. It can be very painful. So inflammation, um, CCL, tears and injuries, any type of acute injury that we have to our joints, um, the Voltrex formula, I would definitely check that out. Um, it is going to help with pain in the sense that it's helping actually support the joints and um, reduce inflammation, but it's not going to be the same as like your traditional painkiller where it's gonna give that immediate relief. So for a lot of these things, we wanna see how they do over the course of a week or two to start see improvements. It might not be immediately as soon as they get their first meal with an herb in it, they're gonna be running around. Um, we hope to see improvements and you should see some, some difference, but it will build up in their system over time. Okay. So similarly, um, this formula actually I'm, I'm very excited about the DM formula. So this DM stands for degenerative myelopathy and it's similar. It's basically like doggy ALS and it's very common in certain breeds. So my aunt, has always had corgis. She absolutely loves corgis, and that's a big breed for DM. Um, and it's a very sad degeneration where they slowly lose function in their hind end, and it starts with, you know, they drag their back feet, and then slowly they can't move their back legs, and then they have to be in, in little wheelchairs and stuff. Um, German Shepherds, I've seen DM in um, boxers. Yeah, we just had a, a boxer that had a, a pretty severe case of DM. So the herbs in this blend are actually, the attempt is to either stop or um, decrease the rate of the degeneration. So DM doesn't have a cure and it doesn't have a ton of great options. We do a lot of rehab and physical therapy and try to keep them acupuncture as great electroacupuncture specifically if you can. Um, we try to do a lot of things to return, re retain that nerve function and to slow it down as best we can. Um, but the, the herbs in this formula actually are showing promising signs of um, either slowing it down or halting some of the degeneration, which is really, really helpful. So again, if you have um, a pet with DM, I would definitely check this out. And the last one of the gold standard herbs is actually the Halcyon. Um, and this supports normal um, adrenal function, but it also is really helpful in cognitive dysfunction. So dogs can actually get canine cognitive dysfunction. It's, it's getting more common, I think, as our, our pets are living longer. But basically, you can start seeing symptoms at night of disorientation. They may not know what time it is. They may get confused and think that um, they're supposed to get up and get their day started. They might be more anxious, pacing, wandering, um, getting lost, getting stuck in corners. So it happens a lot in our older pets. However, this formula is also just supportive of, of normal cognitive function. So it can help with feeling of calmness, tranquility, behavior, um, especially helpful for the older dogs that might be having some CCD-like symptoms, um, but also is really helpful for the uh, adrenal glands as well. So, and like I said, for those six, you can stack them with each other. So if you have a pet that has multiple comorbidities or issues, you can use multiple formulas together at the same time. You can also use them with traditional medications, traditional treatments uh, without having to worry about interrupting 
interactions of drugs. So it's definitely, if you think some one of those formulations might be helpful, it is um, good to try it out without changing all the other things and seeing if you can um, maybe reduce or completely eliminate some of the other things with um, heavy side effects. Uh, if any Canadians are asking, these herbs are stocked at Dog's Age Canada. That's wonderful. And all the Dr. Judy products are stocked at Dog's Age Canada. So it seems like you can just get everything there that you need from us if you're in Canada. So that's wonderful. Okay. So those were all of the gold standard herbs. Um, I will take a few questions while I'm looking at them. Do any of these... Uh, have reviews on our website. No, we actually don't have reviews on our website, but they do have some on the gold standard um, website, which I was reading through before this. And there's some really great testimonials and some people explaining the cases that they use the herbs for if you're um, questioning which one to use for what. So those are helpful. Okay. The uh, Can these be given with PEA? Yes, you can give them with PEA and woodwork very well. They're also very um, synergistic with like the Lumbrex and the Voltrex with like a CBD, a PEA. You could use all three together. If I had a dog that had uh, like a disc disease, I would do all three. I would probably do um, an herb, a PEA and a CBD. All those things would work wonderfully together. So yeah, you don't have to worry about um, interactions with most things, but that's a good question. Okay. Now I'm going to go to uh, a new product. We brought this in from the UK and it was, um, we were on the fence about it, but we had so many people that are in our community that were raving about it and saying how well it worked and that we should definitely stock it that we agreed. So this is by Young Wolfians out of the UK and it's a, it's called the Happy Tears Kit. And so if you have a little dog, well, you might have a big dog. There's lots of doodles that have tear stains too. Um, but dogs specifically that have hair instead of fur, it, it is helpful for, um, for dogs with fur too. But I had a dog that was, oh, she was a, a Shih Tzu Bichon mix. I don't know, super fluffy, had to get groomed. Like that's the opposite of the dog I normally have. I have big, big, um, short haired dogs, but she required a lot of grooming. And before we switched her diet, she had pretty, uh, weepy eyes and tear stains. And what I learned from dogs that have the hair, especially so close to their eyes, first of all, it grows endlessly unless you trim it. Um, I'm not a responsible enough pet parent for a dog that requires that much grooming, but she, it also gets so tangled in their hair and crusted in there and stains them, especially if they're white, it can turn it that red, that red blood color. Um, and so it can be a really, a really big issue for pets that usually typically the small, small fluffy pets. So this is a whole kit. If you have a dog that has a lot of hair around its eyes and you, and they suffer from tear stains, here's a whole kit to actually help you address the exterior stains around the eyes. Now, none of this kit is going to um, address some of the root causes of tear stains. So if you do have a pet with tear stains and you're interested in this kit, I would also suggest looking at two other things. So the first one is going to be Oculus Prime, and that's by Dogs First. It's a seaweed product, and that actually helps to reduce the, the weepiness, the weepy eyes. So that helps to stop the, the tear stain issue from happening in the first place. And we also typically recommend a really good gut health supplement for pets with tear stains because it usually is a sign that their gut health is not 100% in check. So if you want something to start with, a Phytos Flora is typically my first, um, my go-to for dogs. And that's a, a probiotic supplement. It also has humic and fulvic acids in it. So again, if you have a pet with tear stains, this is going to help um, a lot with the exterior, the cosmetics of it in a natural way. But I would also suggest tackling it internally with those two things to reduce the weepiness of the eyes and to bolster the gut health. So that way you're reducing the tear stains in the first place. So when I open up, it comes in a cute little kit. When I open up my kit, it has a bamboo cloth, which is nice, soft, high quality because we want to be nice and gentle. Inside of our little kit, it also comes with necessary tools, which I wish I had these when I had a little white fluffy dog because I did not 
want to get anything near her eyes um, that I didn't trust. So it comes with this nice little brush, nice soft brush, so you can brush out any gunk in the hair. Also comes with a tiny little bristled brush. Again, you're trying to just get all of the debris away. That's the first step. And it comes with instructions. So if I give you bad instructions, there's better ones in here. Um, okay. And so the first thing is actually the Happy Tears spray. And so this is to clean up the gunky areas under the eyes. It's a really simple solution of just some witch hazel, some colloidal silver and water. So it's an pretty natural neutral solution to actually clean up the gunk around the eyes. And then you put on a powder, which is called the happy tears powder. Um, and this has four ingredients in it. So it's a mixture of ec echinacea, um, boric crystals, golden seal, and eye bright. So it's this nice little metal jar. Sorry for Instagram. There's a glare. Um, and you just very carefully put a little bit of the dry powder around the um, tear stained areas. And so it actually helps to change the color of the tear stains and remove them from the fur. This is a really great kit if you do have a pet currently suffering from tear stains. I would say hopefully if you are able to add some of those other things, maybe improve the diet as well, depending on the case, um, you could reduce just tear stains happening at all in general, but for the meantime, and for those that are still working on it, this is a really great kit to get those tear stains cleaned up. And they have some amazing, on the Young Woofians um, page, they have some amazing testimonials of before and afters of people using these and having beautiful little bright faces again. So it's called Happy Tears. It's the Happy Tears kit. We only sell the whole kit together. Um, hopefully you could address the issue and, and see an improvement in the tear stains so you don't have to use the kit forever, but it's really, really helpful for, um, any pets currently suffering from tear stains. Okay. Next, we have a product that a lot of you may be already familiar with. It's called Teeth. So we have two options on the website right now. It's the Teeth kit and then just the Teeth refill. If you don't have the kit, I would recommend just getting the kit because it comes with the, the tiny, tiny little scoop that you use for a serving. This is um, a water additive to improve dental health for dogs and cats. So this one you can put in bowls if you have all cats, all dogs, you have a mixture, it's fine. Um, it can be shared bowls and you basically just put one teeny tiny little scoop. You can't even see the scoop on the camera. Uh, one teeny tiny little scoop of this powder into fresh drinking water every day. And that's it. And it actually has been proven through research to change the microbiome of the pet in their mouth. So giving them a rinse of this solution. And the solution is attempting to reduce the population of bad bacteria in the, in the oral microbiome and increase the amount of good bacteria in the oral microbiome. So you can, this can be helpful for even pets that already have dental disease. It can help break down some of the existing plaque that's stuck on the teeth and it can help prevent um, additional plaque from growing. Basically we are changing the, uh, the, the balance in the mouth to make it more conducive for the good bacteria to thrive. It, they had a tagline on their website I thought it was cute, but it, they say they're this product is basically putting the bad bacteria in our mouths on a keto diet, but basically starving them of, of carbs and sugars, which is what contributes to plaque buildup. So this can be used in conjunction with all the other dental products that we have. We have a whole collection on our website, naturallyhealthypets.com. So if you use Dr. Judy's dental drops, that's wonderful. Keep doing it. If you brush your teeth, brush their teeth even better, um, a coconut oil mixture or the Love Bugs coconut oil or dental drops coconut oil mixture, all of those are great. The Dog Breath Light product, the 1TDC product. All of these things can be used on top of each other and actually work very well together. So this specifically is just something that you add into the water. That's it. So if you are already brushing their teeth or you already are using another dental product, that's great. This is something that you can layer on top. And again, it's, it's 
changing the actual microbiome in their mouth. So it's going to be beneficial for dogs and cats, no matter what stage of dental disease they're in. Ideally, you're getting those anesthetic dentals relatively frequently. So that way um, you don't have a ton of existing dental issues, especially if they need an extractions or um, anything like that. However, this is very beneficial to have just as a daily additive, another check, another thing that you have in your toolbox to keep your pet's dental health in check, especially for our cats, because cats can be a little bit tricky. We have, I think there's two, there's two dedicated cat parents we have in our community that send us videos of them brushing their cat's teeth and the cats are so well behaved and just sit there and um, they do it every day. I know a lot of other cat parents um, did they had some strong words for us when we recommended they brush their cat's teeth. So maybe you could start with teeth, add it to their water, work your way up to brushing. We're going to talk about brushing in a few months, so we'll circle back to it. But this is a great, easy way that you can just add one scoop a day to their water bowl. Um, it is, again, research-backed where they prove that it did change the microbiome of dogs' mouths. Um, so it's super easy. The kit... I don't, I think they say this is a 90 day supply, but with that tiny scoop, I've been using it myself and it doesn't look like there's an end in sight because the scoop is so tiny. Um, so it's a 90 day supply. According to them, I, it sounds like it's like a 200 day supply in my house personally. Okay. Last but not least, these are just our new products. So if you're wanting to hear about something else, please head to the website, read the product description. If you have additional questions, let us know. Uh, but the last one we're going to talk about today is from Crude Carnivore, and this is her mushroom broth. So we have a line of bone broths by Crude Carnivore. They're small batch. She combines the, um, the bone ingredients from either lamb, turkey, chicken, beef, pork with beneficial herbs and vegetables. So for her mushroom broth, um, she chose four different beneficial mushrooms Oops, I'm tricking the camera. Four different beneficial mushrooms and combine them with some beneficial herbs and vegetables. So it's going to be different, uh, a different nutrition profile from the bone broths, but it's still going to be beneficial in its own ways. Mostly probably immune system support, general wellness. Um, it has lion's mane in it, which does have some benefits for nerve health, eye health, cognitive function. The other uh, mushrooms are oyster... King Trumpet, and I forget what the fourth one is. It'll come to me. Um, but yeah, this is great if you are looking to add some more whole foods into your pet's diet. If you do feed kibble or dry food, this would be a wonderful topper. Also great if you just want a little snack. I know for the raised right food I was feeding to mix in some more powdered supplements, I need more moisture. So something like the mushroom broth would be really wonderful for general wellness, immune system support. Um, it does have some great vitamins and antioxidants in it from the mushrooms and the herbs. So this is just another option for adding some hydration to your pet's diet. If you feed a full, raw, fresh diet, they probably are getting plenty of hydration, but it also has some other benefits. How does it taste? You know, I haven't personally tasted it, though I trust Flo and I totally would drink it, but I don't know if it has a strong taste. Um, none of none of our pets have seemed to care one way or the other, but I also have the world's least picky dogs on planet Earth. Like they, I could put garbage on their plate and they would be grateful and eat it. So they are terrible taste testers. And if you're looking for um, a picky pet, maybe we'll have to take them to to forest. If forest eats it, then it's got to be good. Okay. I, I can't see any questions, so I'm going to guess that there weren't any glaring uh, questions, but, oh, somebody had uh, a question about the taste of the teeth, and I will say that there doesn't seem to be like a flavor or um, or any type of taste to it. it. It's a combination of an amino acid and some B6. So it's really nothing that's going to be a strong taste. But um, yeah, I've, I've tried it out with cats and dogs and neither one of them seem to bulk at drinking the water. However, I will recommend if you are going to try out the teeth and add it to a water bowl to also have a fresh water option 
So that way your pet is not, if they do for whatever reason, um, they want to avoid the bowl with teeth, they still have fresh drinking water to use. So that's definitely um, something to keep in mind. If you are going to introduce something new like that to their drinking water, I would make sure to keep a fresh bowl of water next to it and also just monitor their hydration levels, make sure that they're not, um, not having an issue. Okay. Use some bully breeds with issues with hip dysplasia. Oh yeah, tons of suggestions. Some of the the cold gold standard herbs you might want to look into. Um, also, Dr. G senior senior formula would be wonderful for that. Fish oil. We have a whole uh, arthritis and joint section on the website, so you might just want to take a look at that and see if there's anything that piques your fancy. Ooh, people like teeth. Yes, teeth is okay with kidney disease. This, um, the the version of teeth that we chose is a sodium free teeth, so you don't have to worry about that. It literally is just um, a, a type of fiber and amino acid and B six, so it should be safe for if you have a cat or dog with kidney disease or anything else. There shouldn't be any issues. Okay. Thanks for the products and presentation. Oh, wonderful. Well, we hope it helps. We're going to try to do this a little bit more frequently um, just to talk about the different products, how they're used, and to explain a little bit more about them, especially with some of our herbal products. It's hard to sort through what might be the best pick and what you can, what interacts with things and what you can use with other things. So we're going to try to answer more questions more frequently and keep everybody up to date. We've just been so busy. And Dr. Judy, for the next like month, is going to be on the road. She's going to be busy. All right. Can you use Cesarex with the Wolf Creek immune and allergy? Yes. Those are two great allergy products that can be used together and would also be very synergistic together. You can add on CBD to that. You can add on PEA. All of those things are um, going to work well together. So I would not have to worry about that. Okay. You've been using teeth, one TDC and brushing your dog's teeth. Oh, that's wonderful. Three amazing things. Snaps for you. I have not been brushing my dog's teeth, but she did just get a dental. So I need to do it. So that way I keep up with it. She just, um, she just got them cleaned. Do we have a full spectrum CBD? No, we do not sell CBD because it's still technically illegal for veterinarians to sell CBD. Um, however, we work very closely with the folks at CBD Dog Health, so we have a lot of great suggestions from them. Um, you can also, on our website, if you just type in CBD, it has a list of sources that we trust to get CBD for our own animals from, uh, so that can be helpful, and all of those are going to be uh, full spectrum products. I know New Leaf has some isolates that are recommended for very specific cases, but in general, full spectrum is what you want to look for. It's one of the main, main things for CBD. Okay. That's it for today. We'll be back with Wendy's Warehouse Wednesdays as soon as we find somebody named Wendy that wants to come do them.